Another useful deformer is correction deformer. It's here in a correction. Uh, the first use of the correction is here. It changed the parametric object to the editable object. As you can see, we are, for example, give an example with a small thing. We have a cube here. You can change its segments. As you can see, they are not polygon because they are parametric. And when we want to access the point, line, and <clears throat> polygon mode, we have to make it editable and then change it. As you can see, we lose the parametric objects and it's very important to us because uh, we can <clears throat> change its parametric uh, options here very easily. But if you want to access the object uh, that is parametric to its polygon, you can co simply click correction deformer. Holding shift and click on a correction because we want to assign uh, the correction to the object as a child. It does not have anything in it seen, but if you assign the correction to the cube, as you can see, if you go into the polygon mode, we access to its polygon. It's interesting. Or we access to its line. And we have also our parametric here object. As you can see, it's nice. Going back to the uh, control Z. Going back to the cube, uh, sorry, to the correction, and here, here is strings. You can change it. With the strings, you can uh, change the strings of your changes. Uh, as you can see, I uh, I changed the position of the that cube, um, that polygon here. I'm going back to the cube, and I want to increase its um, segments. Going back to correction and hit update, and it updated that. We need update after we changing that. Okay. You can hit reset to reset everything. In settings, if you lock, if you lock, you cannot anymore change its elements, for example, points, <coughs> polygon, or anything. The scale option is interesting. If you insert, for example, a plane here, this is, as you, as you can see, this is a plane and it's a parametric. We assign Sorry. We assign a correction to it, hold and shift and click. Oh, oh, because uh, I have to first select the object, hold and shift and correct. It's assigned to the child of the plane. And going to the correction, <coughs> you have to select that. Going to the points, for example, select those points, bring them up. That's it. As you can see, if we back to the plane, and change its width and height. As you can see, the height of the point are maintained there. But if you want to change the height of the point that you change, uh, depending on the width and height, you can activate scale. The scale of the, the height of the uh, position or changing that you assigned to the correction will be changed with width and height or any parameter that your object will change as you can see the heights of the point will be changed they are not fixed anymore <laughs> another benefit of the correction is actually to correct the mesh issues for example here we have an object that rigged and i want to change its hand like this if i change close it, its hands his hands as you can see the uh, polygon issues will be appear here in class i want to animate it to make it better understand to you simply going here in a timeline here it's a k-frame in this select that select that object that you want to animate it uh, click to Oh, the timeline is here, sorry. 
going to the timeline to the zero. Click the <coughs> record. Uh, bring timeline to, for example, this frame and change the position of the handle and make another keyframe here. As we can see, we have a simple animation here. I will explain animation to you. Don't worry. And we have all rig body and handles here. This is main body. As you can see, if we close his hand, we have an art uh, polygon issues there. Going at that direction, that position. If you go into the point mode, the object will be returned to its position because it, it's, it has a skin and in the polygon mode. Uh, click uh, select the object and you can correct the polygon issues when you when we close the hands uh, holding shift is very important select the object and click the correction this is a skin object you have to give the the hierarchy is very important here you have to give the correction after the skin i will explain what is the skin and the rigging don't worry about that just i want to show the benefit of the correction for example in a rigging when you click the object it's uh, going back to its position but when you click the correction we can correct because uh, the uh, main position of the hands is here so don't click to the object click on a correction and you can uh, smooth that points at that position right click for example going to the brush in a brush select a smooth and simply click and drag to a smooth there or you can smooth anywhere in the uh, object okay going to the model mode as you can see we correct that issue and anytime in a direction of the animation you can uh, remove that uh, correction by um, reduce the strings or you can animate the reduce in any time in the timeline okay this is other you can assign any other correction to this rig body you can do lots of benefit for correction here okay this is correction but i like the mode that i can access the uh, editable mode with a parametric mode of the object that's awesome for example uh, when you want to assign the um, correction to the object that has hierarchy like this you have to insert the null object uh, you can insert a correction uh, sorry the correction object by holding shift and as you can see it's changing to the polygon mode and you can access the polygon and anything but this is the extrude as you can know as you know it's a parametric but to don't make confused click and drag and release it and give it both of them under the null object in this way you can you don't confuse to using the correct and the deformer assigned to the object because they are both in a same hierarchy of the null this is one of the benefit of the null object and as you can see this is a parametric i as access i have an access to all parametric settings and when you click the correction you can access the polygon mode and change its polygon on anything that you want this is awesome deformer Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.